The Trinity River is a beautiful and expansive waterway that starts in the panhandle of Texas and flows southeast until it empties into the Gulf of Mexico. It is a massive river, with an average width of 500 feet and an average depth of 6 feet, though it can reach depths of up to 30 feet during heavy rainfall. The Trinity River is over 700 miles long, making it the longest river located entirely within the state of Texas and the 16th longest river in the United States. The Trinity River has a long and storied history that dates back thousands of years. Native American tribes lived along the river for centuries and used it for transportation, irrigation, and fishing. European explorers and settlers also recognized the importance of the Trinity River and it became a key trade route in the 16th century. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, the Trinity River played a vital role in the development of the region, providing water for agriculture and power for industry. Today, the Trinity River remains an important resource for the people of Texas, providing recreational opportunities and serving as a source of water for cities and towns along its course. It begins in the Panhandle of Texas, near the town of Lubbock. It flows southeast, passing through the cities of Wichita Falls and Dallas. The river then turns to the east, flowing through the city of Palestine before emptying into the Gulf of Mexico near the town of Sabine Pass. It is a wide and shallow river. The quality of the water in the Trinity River can vary depending on a few factors, including the time of year and the weather. Generally speaking, the water in the Trinity River is clearer and cleaner during the dry season, when there is less rain and runoff from the surrounding land. During the wet season, when there is more rainfall, the water in the river may become muddier and murkier due to runoff from the land. This is especially true if there has been a lot of development in the area, as the runoff may carry pollutants from roads, parking lots, and other urban areas into the river. In addition to the weather, the quality of the water in the Trinity River can also be affected by human activities. For example, if there are sewage treatment plants or industrial facilities upstream from where you are rafting, the water may contain higher levels of pollutants. Similarly, if there is a lot of agricultural activity in the area, the water may contain higher levels of fertilizers and pesticides. To learn more about the current water quality in the Trinity River, you may want to contact a local rafting company or the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. If you like and enjoy this video so far, please make sure you subscribe and hit that like button as that will let us know how many people enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button now. The Trinity River has several bridges, dams, and parks along its course. Some notable examples include the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. This bridge is a distinctive steel arch bridge that spans the Trinity River in Dallas. It was designed by architect Santiago Calatrava and completed in 2012. The bridge is part of the Trinity River Project, a plan to transform the Trinity River corridor into a recreational and economic hub for the city. The Continental Avenue Bridge. This bridge is a historic truss bridge that spans the Trinity River in Dallas. It was built in 1900 and is now used as a pedestrian and bike bridge. The bridge is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Dallas Floodway. This is a system of levees and floodgates that was built along the Trinity River in the 1940s to protect the city of Dallas from flooding. The floodway includes several parks and green spaces, including the Great Trinity Forest and the Trinity River Audubon Center. The Louisville Dam. This dam is located on the Elm Fork of the Trinity River in Denton County. It was built in the 1950s and is used to generate hydroelectric power and to provide flood control. The dam impounds Lake Louisville, a popular recreational destination. The Trinity River National Wildlife Refuge. This refuge is located along the Trinity River in Liberty and Chambers counties. It was established in 1994 to protect the river's natural and cultural resources. The refuge includes a variety of habitats, including forests, wetlands, and grasslands, and is home to a diverse array of plant and animal species. The Trinity River is known for its diverse array of plants and animals including 50 species of mammals and 250 species of birds. The river is also home to several endangered species, including the bald eagle and the American alligator. There are over 200 species of fish that have been recorded in the Trinity River, including both native and non-native species. Some of the larger fish species that can be found in the river include alligator gar. This species of fish can grow up to 10 feet in length and is native to the Trinity River. Alligator gar are known for their long slender bodies and sharp teeth and are a popular game fish in the region. Alligator gars are long-lived fish and can have a lifespan of up to 50 years. They are a type of ray fin fish and are closely related to the bowfin. They are native to freshwater environments in the southern United States, including rivers, lakes, and bayous. They are predatory fish and feed on other fish, as well as small mammals and birds. Alligator gars are egg-laying fish and typically reproduce in the spring and summer months. Female alligator gars can lay up to 100,000 eggs at a time, which are then fertilized by the male. The eggs are usually laid in shallow water and are guarded by the male until they hatch. It takes about a week for the eggs to hatch, at which point the young gars, called fry, are on their own. 
They are not cared for by their parents. Catfish There are several species of catfish that can be found in the Trinity River, including channel catfish, blue catfish, and flathead catfish. These fish are known for their whiskers, or barbels, which they use to locate prey in the water. Largemouth Bass Largemouth Bass is a popular game fish that is native to the Trinity River. They are known for their large mouths and powerful swimming ability and are often targeted by anglers. Sunfish Sunfish are a diverse group of fish that include species such as bluegill, red ear sunfish, and green sunfish. These fish are found in most freshwater environments and are a common catch for anglers in the Trinity River. Paddlefish Paddlefish are a type of ray fin fish that are native to the Trinity River. They are named for their long, paddle-like snouts, which they use to filter plankton from the water. Paddlefish can grow up to 8 feet in length and are a popular target for sport fishing. Carp Carp are a non-native species of fish that were introduced to the Trinity River in the early 1,900 seconds. They are known for their hardy nature and ability to thrive in a variety of environments and are often considered a nuisance species by fishermen. The Trinity River also offers a variety of recreational activities, including rafting. It is a popular destination for whitewater rafting and kayaking, with several stretches of the river offering challenging rapids for experienced paddlers. The river also offers more placid stretches for those who prefer a more leisurely rafting experience. In addition to rafting, the Trinity River and the surrounding area offer a range of other sports and entertainment activities. These might include hiking, fishing, and camping in the great outdoors, as well as more urban pursuits like shopping and dining in the nearby towns and cities. There are also several parks and other recreational areas along the river where you can enjoy picnics, BBQs, and other fun activities with your friends and family. Whether you are an experienced angler or just looking to explore the natural beauty of the river, the Trinity River has something for everyone. For more informative and exiting videos like this one, please subscribe and smash the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload other videos.
Watch him. <laughs> <laughs>